That pain make you cautious. And my shoes, they got mileage. My back on the wall, and I'm still standing tall. Cause even in the darkness, I can see what's for me is for me. Hi everyone, my name is Egypt and today I'm going to be doing a sewing video if you're new to my channel. I do a lot of different things on here so might as well just check me out. I do thrifting, sewing, fashion, hauls, all that. So let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to be transforming these cargo shorts that I thrifted for $1 each into a pair of cargo into a pair of cargo skirts into a cargo skirt <laughs> I got this khaki color pair of shorts in the children's section. I just wanted something that fit my waist and this happened to fit my waist. It has an elastic band in the back so that kind of helps. If you find a pair of shorts that's bigger than your size, you can still get that. It'll still work out. You'll just have to do a little bit more work. And this is the second pair. It has a side pocket right here. So I think it's going to be a nice detail on the skirt. So let's just get into this because it's going to be super simple. If everything goes <laughs> as planned because I've never done this before. Today we are transforming these pair of cargo shorts into a skirt and if you want to try to follow along I don't suggest you I just suggest you watching the process first because I have a lot of trials um, but if you do want to do this you'll just need a pair of shorts. The shorts that I chose fit me really really tight but that's good for the fit of the skirt in the end so I just wanted to show you guys how it fit me just for reference. So I took my pair of fabric scissors that I got from Amazon. You want to get a good pair of scissors if you're going to be sewing. And I just cut along this section of the shorts that I am pointing at. It's the crotch of the shorts. You're just going to cut both leg seams apart. You'll see. I decided to cut one side up and cut the other side up. And you can do what you want as long as you just cut that part. This is where it gets a little bit interesting. As you can see, if I were to just attach the two sides, there would be a flap and I would have to sew that piece off. But in the back, that's what you wanna do. In the front, this is what you wanna do. What you're seeing me do, you're gonna cut like a little bit of a slit so that the fabric lays flat over each other like this. Just watch the video and you'll understand if my words aren't making sense. But in the back, you wanna do what I was doing in the beginning, which was connecting the two parts. You'll see further in the video I realized that I didn't realize that right now which is why I'm cutting it like how I did the front but now that I know that I shouldn't do that obviously it would save me a lot more time and effort so I just want to let you guys know right now only do that in the front The next step was finding a color thread that matched the shorts. I will use either white or black thread for anything, honestly, doesn't matter. But today I just wanted to be professional, especially cause the seams were gonna be on the skirt. So it would be weird if I used black or white cause then it would be very noticeable. So I opened up my little kit and I found a thread that matched as close as possible with what I had and I got to pinning. Pinning is just helpful to keep everything in its place when you're sewing, it is, tedious sometimes and it is an extra step but it is very helpful if you want to do things as neat and as easy as possible when it comes to the sewing part. I feel like the prep is very important when it comes to sewing because it'll just make your life so much easier. I promise. So like I said in the beginning, I had to do a lot of seam ripping because I did a lot of unnecessary things like this right now. I did not have to do that to the back and later I'm gonna seam rip it and do it properly. So let's just fast forward this part. 
So after pinning the front of the skirt, you're going to want to sew along where I'm pointing. You're just sewing down that flap so that it's secure and not flapping. <laughs> so yeah, pretty straight into the point. I sewed close to the edge and I also did the same on the back, but like I keep repeating, this is unnecessary, so do not do this. This is why I'm saying watch the video before actually trying to do it because I was just filming my process. This is my first time doing it. This is not necessarily a tutorial, just saying. Then I got to threading my machine and I completely spaced on how to even thread the machine. So that was, that was great. And then I finally remembered, like it just snapped back into my memories and I was able to thread my machine. I did have a little bit of issues and I had to do it twice, but you know, it happened in the end and that's all that matters. So now I'm finally sewing. You guys only saw five seconds of the prep, but I promise you it took way longer than five seconds. There's not really much I have to say right now, so I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the little relaxing music and the B-roll of me sewing. I've made a terrible, terrible, terrible mistake. I sewed my skirt together. Mm. Yep. Rookie move, I know. So now I have to seam rip this seam. I don't even know what's happening. I just know that when I was trying to sew the back, the back piece, I was not paying attention because it's not a skirt. It's just all sewn together and now I have to deconstruct and reconstruct. Trial and error today, trial and error. I guess I'm rusty. Okay, so I also cut a hole in the skirt in the process of seam ripping. So now I'm gonna improvise. All right, now we're back on track, back on the sewing machine. I swear most of the sewing process is cutting, pinning, constructing. It's sewing, but also not just sewing, you know, because it takes a lot for me to even get to the point of actually sewing the pieces together. It's very sad, but it's the process and you gotta love it sometimes. You really do. And you gotta trust it because in the end, all of the trial and error and stress will be worth it. So an important part for me is trying on the piece as I go because it's very helpful to just see how if it's on because that's really what matters. Yes, it can look perfect while it's laying down flat on a table, but if it looks crazy while it's actually on a body, then did you really make anything? So yeah, I tried it on and I realized this is the mistake that I made. This is the mistake that I've been talking about the whole video. It created this flap that had to be cut off. So let's get into correcting my mistakes once again. I don't know why I filmed it in this angle. I don't think I was actually paying attention. You'll see, I actually filmed the stitch that I made, which is this stitch. I undid the stitch that I redid twice to end up cutting it off, which is crazy, but that's what happens when you do trial and error sewing and you don't actually know what you're doing before you sew. And then my ex texted me and I started crying. This is what happens when the wrong person texts you. You cry. Literally. I'm trying to get back in the zone. 
So if you remember when I was trying on the skirt, there was like a random missing fabric from the way that I laid it. So I'm using the pieces of fabric that I cut off just now off the back of the skirt. I connected them to make it a bigger piece and then I filled in the hole. Now I'm just cutting off the excess fabric and I'm pretty much done. Yeah, I'm kind of missing a couple of steps in between because I didn't film. So I was kind of just trying to work through my emotions, you know, so here's me doing that literally distressing my skirt with the pair of scissors i look so mad but i don't know this was very helpful for me to just push through and do what i had to do you know although i'm going through things in my personal life i'm better off without them anyway So here's the finished product of my skirt. I honestly really love it. It's definitely my style. I was gonna say giving, but I've been seeing like a lot of those TikToks and I don't wanna be that girl. So I'm trying to say giving less and using a similar color thread was definitely a smart idea. I just love the outcome, the distressing, everything about this is perf. And I also added like a little string detail with the part of the hem that I cut off. You know, I'm just super proud of this and I was really happy in the end, although I did go through a lot making it the outcome was definitely worth it and that's just what I like about sewing you can really make nothing into something that you absolutely love it just took one dollar and a little bit of my time this is the final result of the skirt I'm about to explain everything that I did as you can see I split this part and I sewed it down flat so that I can lay flat like this and then I added a extra piece of fabric from the skirt that I cut off to fill in that spot because I didn't like how open it looked and then I added these little pieces on the pockets because I cut off the hemline so I just decided to add some little pieces to the pockets and then for the back I I laid it as you guys saw in the video hopefully I did this well because I've been going through it this whole time trying to figure out how to do this but yeah I did that in the back so now it's all even I had a problem with it not being even like it was going down like that so I had to even it out and then I had to sew a whole shirt because I accidentally cut a hole in it while I was seam ripping but in the end I got a cute little skirt that literally fits me perfectly I didn't have to do anything to the waist all the pockets and everything are still functional it's kind of a tight squeeze but it's functional no pockets so yeah I'm super happy with the outcome and now I'm just going to style an outfit I'm feeling godly I break the chains that confine me light live inside me so even in the darkness I can see what's falling for me smiles is mine so clear to see. So clear to see. Yeah, I know it's for me, it's for me. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process of me make this skirt. And I hope even though it isn't a tutorial, maybe this will inspire you to go thrifting and just upcycle and possibly make a pair of shorts into a skirt, although my instructions were not the clearest. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram and subscribe, like, and comment if you guys enjoy my sewing videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!